God bless you this morning. Amen. I hope you had a good night. Yes, Amen. Amen. Let's be seated for the right moment. Would you talk to your people and just welcome that person in the name of the Lord Jesus? Yes, says for instruction is life. Amen. Amen. It doesn't matter which other flight other people are going with, but you have to obey the instruction of your own flight. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Don't say oh, other, other planes are going earlier. Other planes say they should wait later. There is a time frame. There is a season. Amen. 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 And if you are careless, You'll be taken on our ways. I pray that none of us will be careless this morning. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, by the grace of God, uh, Pastor Kimani Njogu arrived in uh, Nairobi at 4 a.m. on Saturday, which was yesterday. <laughs> then he took a six hour drive. The church people came to wait for him in Nairobi and they drove him straight to Eldoret. So he got home and we spoke. He's fine with his wife and his children. He said they are welcome to him. Hallelujah. Amen. So we thank the Lord for the labor of love. Uh, and also thank you because it was. If, if you never yielded yourself to the Lord, that ministry, those ministries will not, uh, will not be appreciated. So the Lord bless you with me in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Charles of Born uh, has gone to Ijoku. He will be there for this week. The pastor Billy Joseph and the church there. I believe they will hit on the Antichrist. It was a, it was a powerful subject. Yes. Amen. Yes. Well detailed. We thank the Lord for that. How many of us were blessed? Yes. You know, if we, some churches don't like correction, and that's why I know that they are not the church of Jesus Christ. <coughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. If we claim that we, all that we are doing is correct, then it means that we are supposed to have been in heaven. So, but when you, that's why we keep opening our doors. Amen. And we, we will help where help is needed. Praise the Lord. But first, be a good listener. Amen. Amen. Paul was saying that if one wants to be a teacher, he should first of all be taught. Amen. The reason why many people make shipwreck is because they just want to jump and teach. They don't want to be taught. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know? So that is it. So, we we're so blessed by Pastor Charles of Born. Amen. Amen. And uh, from Wednesday, our brother from Karamoja will begin with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Up to Saturday. And that is Pastor. Local Samuel David. Amen. 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 We, our heart, my heart really goes for the believers in Karamoja because they are sincere people. Praise the Lord. Amen. They say things the way things are. I remember one time after I finished preaching there, some Americans, they came with a helicopter. And landed somewhere and brought chips and drove and brought bicycles and gave them. They rejected their bicycle because their message was wrong. I was one and told them, No, collect the bicycle. 
After when they are done, we'll talk about the message. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But they were so sincere that they said, No, this is not the gospel that we receive. We don't want this thing. I said, No. That those were offerings of innocent people, so collective. Amen and amen. So we bless the Lord. And the Lord will grant us grace to fulfill all our promises for them before the Lord comes. Amen. Amen. I said it that we want to build a house for the oldest minister in Karamoja. Amen. And that will be the first blockhouse in that area. The man is, is, I think it's either is either he's between 70, he's 78 years old. And he used his leg to trek from Uganda to Kenya to preach to people. Why can't we bless him? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We didn't come to this world to increase goods. If the Lord blesses us, that's okay. Amen. Amen. But whatever you miss, don't miss heaven. You will regret it. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we glad this morning? Yes. I have a very short message. Very short. Very, short. very, very short. I want to welcome my sisters. The Lord bless you, Richard. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Happy to see you again. Amen. Amen. And uh, I see Brother Aze. The Lord bless you. Yeah. Sorry, I saw your call, but I think I was driving and I forgot to, to put back the call. The Lord bless you. I'm looking very fine like a bobo. <laughs> Somebody's taking care of him. Amen. God bless you, sister. Hallelujah. So, this morning, I should just sing a song to just allow us to have a relaxation. We were supposed to have questions and answers after the... How many messages do you think Pastor Charles preached? A total Five. Five. of six messages. Six, because including that of the camp. Amen. So we have all those messages on CDs. And we're going to put it, we wanted to do it this week, but just a little test we had some trials. So we're going to put all those on the website. And you can assess it, but get the CDs, get them. Each message is different. Amen. Amen. But it's all pointing to the same thing in Christ. Now, one of the things that that I rejoice so much about was that of Crete. That even though it is in the scripture, when we, we can make a creed out of the Bible, and God thank you for this revelation. Hey! Because Catholics say, Hail Mary, Hail Mary is in the Bible. But what they joined there, I don't know where they got it from. They sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy is in the Bible. What they join behind, I don't know where it came from. He said the motive, the one we say the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a motive behind it. They, can, they had a motive. And you know, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, he said, let us say it only by revelation. We should not come every morning and say, it is time. Oh, nine, don't mind. It is time for the lost prayer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Stand up. The lost prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you, Lord God. Praise God. Amen. The Lord bless you, Richard. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, please, uh, you know, don't miss uh, Pastor Lokoro's message. You know, he preaches from his heart. He, he does not carry it with a very good. Amen. Amen. He preaches it from his heart. And his revelations are so clear. I want to thank God for his life. We were here on Saturday to walk. And he told me, he said, be careful. Because I saw you. You, you hit another car. You hit the car by the left hand side of that car. Praise the Lord. Amen. And I really was careful because that's not the first time he had told me that. When we were going to Karamoja, he came to Kabbalah. We drove in a private car to Kabbalah. Then I was taking pictures. He told me I should stop doing that because I, there's going to be an accident. He wants us to pray. I said, I think we don't pray with I was taking pictures. Do you know? I was a good fellow man in it. He took us one hour to come out. From that time, I began to 
place of talk. You know, when you are in the city, you think that the, those people in the village want not to know anything. For God, does not, it's no respect of any. <laughs> Yesterday, he woke up, he told me, he said, he saw a sister, he described his sister, he said, that sister just left my house. I was on the bed, I heard that sister's voice. Or I heard my wife say, the, the man said, something has come. He said, that sister you described just left this house. And he was telling us exactly what that sister came to say. Amen. amen. I thank the Lord for that. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Are you happy? Yes. Amen. Let's fly this morning. No. <laughs> no. Where is Robert? I don't want people to spoil this. Uh, this who pizza this morning with dance. A dance that came from Ondu. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. Let's sing home with our seven side of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Not fly away. Let's not fly yet away. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You know, that brother is a humble brother. If you know how we used to hit that brother in the minister's meeting, to correct him or things like that. You say things that you make him angry or whatever. That's rubbish, not from God. Stop that. He just stand up and say, I'm so sorry. Please, my father, help me. Amen. Amen. Not even one argument. That's somebody who wants to go far. Amen. 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 How many of you see vision? You come and tell somebody, they tell you that vision is of the devil and you are happy. And you don't get angry. Say, this man is trying to. Praise the Lord. Amen. No, no, no. This vision is of the devil. How will you feel? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. The title of this message today, repeating a message we preached somewhere in the weather.
They arise at a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's head. And he said, Go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. And it came to pass, in the meanwhile, that the heaven was black, and with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain, and I have rode and went to Jezreel. And the hand of the Lord was on Elijah, and he guided up his lions and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Verse 1, chapter 19. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, and without how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elisha, Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and most also, if I make not thy life as one of, of them by tomorrow, about this time. Verse 3, And when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Bathsheba, where belonged to Juba, and left his servant there. The Lord bless the reading of his word. Let's just sit down. We can just bow our heads one more time. As we pray. Heavenly Father, let your scanning machine scan us this morning. If there be any thought that will not make us worthy to hear this word, or to speak this word, or to understand this word, Lord, purge us. The table of the Lord is a clean place. There should be no vomit. Father Lord, let all men be liars, but you are true. Help us this time. Speak your heart to us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I see that some people are on holidays. So they have that the pastor's house got born, so he won't come to church. So they too didn't come. Tell them it born old things so that new can come. Amen. 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 Let us open our Bibles to Luke chapter 3. And Brother Moses, if you can. Verse 1 to 3. Luke chapter 3. Luke chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Yes, sir. Now, in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberi Tiberius, yes. Tiberius Caesar, yes. Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, yes. and Herod, being tetrarch of Galilee. Yes. And his brother Philip, tetrarch of Ituria, and of the region of Traconia, Traconitis, yes. and Lysanias, yes. yes. and tetrarch of Abilene, Abile. Anna, Annas and Cephas, being the high priest, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Ask your neighbor now. When was God ever with the majority? Amen. Amen. First, it's a very short message. The Lord will help us to cut it short. Praise the Lord. 
or we have a good weather, you know? Yes. For instance, when was God ever with the majority? Let me break some things down. When I say majority, you are counting numbers. It's not about numbers now. But that is inclusive. Numbers. When does God look for so many people to achieve a thing? Amen. Amen. But let's break it down. So we can get the message that God is trying to pass to us. When does majority carry the vote when it comes with God? Where does God ever go with the way people think, with the way people dress? Or the majority, this is what is reigning now. Where does God ever go with that? Praise the Lord. What, what most of us think is that a day will come in that judgment day that God will apologize to us and say, No, I was just uh, I was just saying it so that you'll be serious. So now that you could not do it, uh, there's the chance for you. Because Amen. Because if God should take his action, as some of us will think, who will be there to be saved? Elijah was one man that was vocal. But there were 7,000 prophets in the days of Elijah reserved unto God. So don't think that you are the only one that is doing right. You better do the right. And don't play with it. Amen. Amen. Let's connect these two scriptures and let the Lord grant us grace this morning. My sub topic is How do you respond to truth? What is your report? When you hear the truth, the truth is the Lord Jesus Christ. Our truth is a person. Amen. It is the person of Jesus Christ. Amen. It has been made flesh to us, for us. Amen. Amen. Now, what is your response to this truth? Israel, God blessed. And they had a general who came to instill discipline in the land of Israel. A man called Zimri had attacked his king and killed him and began to reign. And God laid his hand on Omri, Omri, another captain of the guards. And he stood up with some men and fought and destroyed Zimri and established the kingdom. Because it was the other northern kingdom of northern Israel, their kings were not related to the seed of David, like in the southern kingdom of Judah, that only the seed of David must sit on the throne that is in Jerusalem. Take note. In the days of Solomon, after his death, his son came and was careless with the management of people and the kingdom was divided in his hands. A larger portion of the kingdom went away, leaving only two tribes. Praise the Lord. Amen. amen and amen. amen. So, when Omri had reigned, after some time, 
he died. And a son from him, his own son, took the throne. Took his place. But I want to say this. This son, Ahab, must have seen the failures of his father in relation to the prophets. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because if you walk with the people of God, like the nation of Israel, God had a three-tier government. The king, the priest, and the prophets. Praise the Lord. The prophets, the king, and the priest. The prophets have no business in the temple. The prophets were not pastors, but the priests were pastors. But you could have in those days a prophet priest. You could have a prophet king, but you could never have a priest king. A king that was a priest. Praise the Lord. Because kingship has a lot of diplomacy. Are you following me? Yes. And when it comes to the altar of God, there is no diplomacy. Things are said the way it should be said because it is a matter of life and death. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why if Satan wants to destroy you, you know what he's going to do to you? He puts you in the corner that you love the way Pastor Nice preaches and you don't want to listen to another person. Satan. Satan has entered. Are you following me? It means that all this why you are listening to Pastor Nice and not Jesus Christ. That is why we push the issue of order. Order. There must be order regarding the things on this altar. In the Old Testament, the altar was outside. The most holy place of the inner part. We don't have an altar today, but a representation. A representation. Amen. Amen. The altar of God is in our hearts. Is it clear? Yes, Air came. Be an Israelite, a Christian. I don't like that voice. A Christian whose desire is started. Oh, brother, you are so spiritual. You are so spiritual until now all your friends are unbelievers. You are so spiritual. Nothing will happen. I am greater than them. Ah, they cannot convince me. Nobody will convince you, but they will useless you. You are so spiritual until if I don't do it the way people used to do it, people begin to talk. And I'll look as if God is even the God I'm trying to defend now is not blessing me. Where the carcass is. The eagles there, the eagles we can. There. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Listen to this. Ahab was announced king. Israel celebrated and he began to move. Amen. 
On the day of his coronation, it was a different time. They were not coronating the king alone. It was double ticket. It was the king and his wife. Israel didn't know that they were swimming into witchcraft. When women don't stay in their position, it is witchcraft. Because there will be stubbornness. Yes. So, this is a man. If you leave a heart alone, he was a godly man. He proved it. When the curse was to come upon him, he humbled himself and prayed and wore sackcloth and put ashes on his head. Hallelujah. Amen. And God testified. Have you seen how he has humbled himself before me? Because he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring huh? this, evil this evil in his days. But in his days of his children's children, will I bring this evil upon them? And what was God looking for in his children's children? He was looking for the one that will come and act like Ahab. Ahab's bad character. He will find one. Praise the Lord. Someone was saying something. He said, we were in the PTA meeting yesterday. And we saw a small boy, very fat. And I said, oh, maybe it's their family thing. He said, there's nothing like that. If the boy is disciplined with food, he will not be fat. Amen. 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 We've seen the children of lawyers not being able to pass my egg. They can't pass literature. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So Ella, he protected Jezebel. The daughter of Edpa. Please stop my brother. Don't sleep. He protected Jezebel, the daughter of Edna. And, you know, when they knocked the gate of Ahab's palace, it was Jezebel that answered. Yes, what do you want? And my husband should come for prayers. No. <laughs> That's what I do for my kingdom. That's not how we... Don't you, have you not heard that I'm a, I'm a princess also? You think, you think I'm learning how to be queen here? And my mother is a queen. My father is a king. So what, oh, who am I? And now am I... You think... Please, that's how they used to do this thing. Let, let the king rest. Ahab came back one day because he wanted a he wanted the fire of Nabot. And Nabot, he wanted to burn. As a godly man, he wanted to burn. There was nothing wrong with Ahab. He, Nabot said, No, sir, you know that this is an inheritance and cannot be sold. It is my soul. I cannot sell it. And Ahab went back weeping. Why did he cry? He cried because it was someone's inheritance. He knew he could never get it. Even if he was powerful. And when he cried and could not eat. And his mother wife. <laughs> What is wrong, boy? Mama, mama, milk, milk. <laughs> After she had heard what was making the king to cry, <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> Just got the one of the the girls that were saying, Libby, bring daddy's for the bottle. I'll take care of things. He didn't say, Don't worry, I I will give you the fire. Oh sisters, may God help you to remove the words like I can never take that from your life. I can't take that 
There is no I with you. Your I is your husband. That capital letter I, you don't have it. You only will have it in Christ and in your husband. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me say this. You know, as it is, much as we want people to come to church and go to heaven, we cannot, I will never produce more than what God has ordained me to present to him on that day. Amen. The wife said to the king, I will get it for you. And she just went up and said, where is this man from? And uh, how is his spiritual life? Satan is not looking for your money. Forget about it. Satan is not looking for your car. Forget about it. He's not looking for your house. Forget about it. He's looking for your soul. How is his spiritual life? Ah! <laughs> this man, the man, the uh, Nabot is, uh, is a hardliner. You know they agree. Uh, even if we give him Mercedes verse, you know we agree. Yeah! <laughs> Mercedes with him. Just don't embarrass yourself, my, my, my queen. You know we agree. He will not accept. Praise the Lord. Amen. And listen, Satan cannot attack us from outside. It will not make any meaning. It can just walk. Satan cannot stop us from having a revival from outside. It will walk. He needs some people who know the scripture. He needs some people who read the scripture. He needs some people who pray the prayers. So they come in the name of let us pray, but they say, Satan, what do we inject? They will see vision and destroy the church. They will pray prayers and destroy the believers. They will tell you, brother, be careful of this brother. Sister, be careful of that sister. And everybody turn together and they forget that the light is not coming from us. The light is coming from our home. Why are we looking at ourselves? Why are we supposed to be looking at both? Look up for your redemption is there. How come you know that your brother's throat is not clean? You weren't looking at the light. That's what Jezebel did. Brothers, if your brother don't have understanding, help him to understand. Let me pay you back. Amen. Amen. He doesn't understand. That's now. Help him. Borrow him understanding. You be the loser. Give him the understanding to understand. After maybe two, three years, he will understand. And you say, I'm sorry, my brother. That time, you know, I didn't know. Wouldn't it be sweet at that time? And if you are mature, you will not say, I think I told you. No. You say, brother, it was okay now. It's well. Let's go. Our journey is far. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen, amen and amen. I love that song. It is well. It is well. With my soul. With my soul. It is well. It is well. Well, it is well with my 
Lift the blood off. Now, now. So the dog lick the own blood. Who? Pop. To the king? Problem started. Elijah came again. Hit him hard. Now, all these things were happening just about the same time. But Elijah, amen, he was just that one man doing. One man. Praise the Lord. Amen. One man who needed not the majority. The majority were not even numbers here. The king is with the majority. Mm. Amen. Amen. Take care of the children. The king is with the majority. So you find out that Jezebel, she had raised a prophet. Since we must work with prophets, I can raise my own prophets. Prophets who will play not according to the rule. There is a rule. Amen. Yeah. Let me help you. Brother Moses. Let me help you here this morning. Brother. This Bible you are reading. Were there men of God in this Bible before? Before now. Am I the first servant of God? Yeah. People. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. This Brother Paul, this Bible we are reading. Were there Bible teachers in this Bible already before? Uh, okay. Which of these preachers? Hallelujah. Yeah. Have you heard one day that the woman came and said, hey, he, he called me, he was doing this, and then the man had scandal in this Bible? Like Peter. You don't understand. Let's understand ourselves. Amen. Was there any time that one or two people had like used Peter or James? Amen. If those men were persecuted, they were persecuted solely for the word of God. Not dashing women money from account to account. I saw they say, eh, people are talking against a man of God. Who is the man of God? Let the man of God respect himself. If God has honored you, you use God's name to get riches, then honor God back. Amen. Even though you are not going to heaven, at least honor him. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Most of us don't just think. See our preachers today in the world appreciating comedians, film actors, buying houses for them with tight money, with offerings of the church. How does that further the gospel? Christopher started it, was given an award. One million, ten million. Amen. To the best musician. They even do a fashion parade and women dress and come and cross the altar fashioning like lizards most of them look like wrestlers with heavy yams on their leg what was not supposed to be seen Oh, Pastor, how did you see it? I watched it by mistake. <laughs> Help me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It was on news. You follow what I'm saying? Yes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And they are doling out two million. But I tell you, of a place I went in Vietnam, deep down in the bush, Many of you have looked at our journals. Look at that picture again. 
and check which place can be like that in Nigeria. They say, your government is not trying. Forget it. Forget it. That big place, when I got there, I had to pay for the people to come and listen to the word of God. I have to cook for them so that they will have strength to hear what I'm preaching. So how much do you think this man could do if they invest? They, don't, they should not send me, I'm not their mate. They should go their way. They should go, they, they should find a way or send who they want to say. Go and I talked about the first time I told somebody about Jesus in Vietnam, he asked me why I just spoke of Fanta. Is it a drink like coffee? I said, oh, I was thinking that the guy is blessed. You don't know Jesus? <laughs> he said, what is that? I said, the God, he said, no. He took me to his house and showed me what they call God. He has, he's a very poor man. He cannot buy food, but he has about 300 gods. He has gold, silver. He has different gods. Small, small, small one. The God of cough, the God of fever, the God of headache, the God of eyelashes. Everything he has God for. And yet he doesn't know Jesus. And we are sitting down here, and you are defending people who are against God. Shout to you. The spirit of Jezebel is a spirit of sorcery, witchcraft. The spirit that kills the innocent and justifies the guilty. Amen. Amen. Hey, I've said, just, uh, Elijah said to Ahab, there shall be no rain in this three and a half years, according to the word of the Lord before whom I stand daily. Hey, I've said, Get the way you guys sit down. Nigeria, no rain. You can't see how 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 the area is. He said there shall be no rain. He thought it was a joke. Brother, don't pray that in the season of rain, rain should be withheld for two months. You see how people suffer. When the when the plants have sucked all the water, they begin to kill themselves. The plants will be fighting for their plants. That's why we were told in Kenya, a minister came and said, This is it? They call the tree, is it eucalyptus? Is it a tree like a little eucalyptus tree? Yes, he used to suck water by the water line. He said they should uproot all the trees in the because the water went drying up. They uprooted all those trees and the water started coming back. You plant a plant. Amen. And that plant, you know what it does? It kills other plants. It only wants to stand. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But what happened? There shall be no rain. According to the word of the Lord. Before whom I stand there, he blocked it. First year came, no rain. And Ahab refused to be consulted. Touch your neighbor. Don't act when God is not acting. Tell him, don't move when God is not moving. Be quiet when God is quiet. Ah, uh, Bala. When somebody is suffering, do you know why he's suffering? Don't put your mouth there. Just pray. Lord, have mercy upon this person. So have mercy does not just say, you are not saying that the person is a sinner. Who does not need mercy? Solution comes to people from God. You don't look for solution. You look for God. And when you are looking for God, Keep your problems behind you. Because your problems 
you have just made it your problems and you have made it an idol and it will mislead you because what you cannot do originally because of that problem you will do it ah brother this one you have you have to go and catch toad toad if you can chop that toad raw what is wrong you never get wound, that's why now. Please, when you catch that toad, soak it in water and lift it out. It must be got that water. You hold it like this. Start to eat it from the belly. Make sure you eat the belly first. Though. Then you eat the head. And the problem will be finished. Lord. May we not fall into that trap. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. You need to look unto Jesus. He is the author and finisher of your faith. When your eyes is removed from him, you will do anything. Praise the Lord. Now, Moranigo, listen to this. In a third year, They were saying, look for Elijah. And many times, they had gone to seek him. Somebody said, I saw Elijah at the country bus stop. Before they reached there, another person is coming from Agege said, Elijah just left Agege now. <laughs> but there was one good man who was in the king's palace. His name was Obadiah. Amen. Amen. He was smuggling the food of the king to feed the prophets that were hiding. Then they met him over there. Can you look for this Elijah for us? Ah, don't put, I don't want to get involved. Then one day, Elijah himself went up. He said, Go and tell your king that I'm waiting for him here. Ha! He said, Why do you put my life on the line? You don't know the good things that I've been doing. I've been helping, I've been helping the work of God. Don't put my neck. You know, Jesse Bell is still around. And then I said, don't worry, I will not disappear this time. <laughs> Why? It has gotten to the time of the end of the prophecy. We can start negotiating. When we pray, don't pray blindly. Pray according to the will of God. Amen. I am standing here. I have never asked God anything that he didn't do it. I challenge you. I never asked you anything. I challenge you. Because I keep having my projects. Those crazy things. Yes. I have made up my mind that nothing will come in between me and the program of God. That's what the pastor was preaching here on Friday. When the will of God conflicts with your will or human will, which one will you choose? You have made a vow to God. Lord, on Monday I will do this. But they call you on Sunday that your child needs this. He's in the hospital. Which one will you do? God, you know. It's only a pet. Why, why do you think he came at that time? He's not fighting your child. That's not what Satan is looking for. He's looking for your relation between you and your God. And cheaply you will fall. Why? Because you remove your eyes from it. Oh, Pastor, you see, I had what happened to you, so I just say, I just, I just, I think we should be praying. I said, pray for yourself. I know your problem. Because I told you you should come on this day. Let me see what I'll do for you. Now you heard that something happened. I said, come, I've been waiting for Why did you come? But we wait this time and say, just come. Come and have it. Your, your pastor has been waiting for you. Come and take it. He didn't burn your own. He burned my own. What's the problem? It's me that God wants to promote. Don't be you. When you start believing in you, will start promoting you. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. Amen. 
Receive the news. Elijah awaits day here. Okay. Come with the whole of those prophets. If God be God, let us know. Israel, come out. All Israel came out. They gathered themselves. And you know the story. That's what we are preaching today. The prophets manifested. All those daytime manifestations. Let me tell you one thing that God does not do. God does not bring conflict with his message. Every prophecy comes to exalt, to comfort, and to do what? And to correct, to edify. If you ever go anywhere and somebody told you, Thus said the Lord, your uncle, Mr. Adegoke, is the one that is worrying you. Slap the person. Because God can talk like that. Jesus knew Judas from day one. He didn't discover him. He knew that from the wilderness, that's what was told. That, okay, now you are being tempted now as you are passing this trial. Go and choose your disciples. And when you are reaching there, uh, you know, uh, our, our guy is also coming. So, as you are God manifest in the flesh, you also have Satan manifest in the soul. Choose, your, choose the man. So, all of you work together because that's how to bring this thing. We can, uh, the, Jesus cannot do without Satan. How can the ministry work? Who, who keep? Who, who, who will betray? Does Jesus betray? And there is a job called betrayer in the ministry. So Judas has to be there. And when they came, Jesus gave him post. People who run after post in the church, Jesus gave him post to make sure that he sits well. So they will not leave. Amen. Amen. So Judas started his ministry. History said that he was a noble man, the man who lived in Brick's house. What was he living in Mott? This one was living in Brick's house, a noble man. Amen. Peter. Peter. Paul, James, John. They were looking up to be like Judas. At least to reach his level. They trust him, so they four men don't keep money, so they say keep, keep church money. And he doesn't talk much. Deal with that man. No problem. You think that the money is in his pocket? You can share it. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen and amen. amen. So God, in Christ, did not call John. John, you know, you know, you are a small boy. Don't be laughing with anybody like this. It's not everybody that loves you. God won't say that to you. It's not everybody that loves you. And we are two in the house. And you are telling me it's not everybody that loves me. You mean that the person that is living with me is in trouble? Anywhere, enemy, they gather. Holy Ghost fire, pursue them. Anywhere, enemy, they gather. Holy Ghost fire, pursue them. Pursue them. Pursue them. Pursue them. Pursue them. Go away. Now, go kill all your enemy. Only you remain in this world. You go in Kotun. Nobody wants selfish for you. You go in to, to go buy red oil, where they come from this, nobody bring up. Because everybody is dead. <laughs> anyway, you enjoy the first first week. You eat oil, go in to drink, go drive all the vehicle. You will be down for driver, you one time train yourself. You get that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 My problem is. After all said and done, those people that they pointed their enemy to them, say it's your neighbor, they even mentioned them live on television. How did the matter end? How did it end? Amen. Amen. I'm running on my Listen to this. Now, this is where the message is now. Elijah. 
killed the prophet of Baal, proved his God, and then he gave the word of the Lord to Ahab. Arise, for there is a sound of the abundance of rain. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 There is sound. Somebody say there is sound. There is sound. Of abundance. Of abundance. Of rain. Of rain. Yes. When Ahab was saying this, he didn't tell. When Elijah was saying, he didn't tell Ahab directly because Ahab was on the hill. He was on the mountain. Ahab. I mean, Elijah was on the mountain. Ahab was on the ground. So he sent his servants. Because I have told him, go and eat and drink. Don't fast without repentance. So he went to him. The servant said, Thou King Ahab, we have heard the sound of the abundance of rain. And the cloud is getting dark with rain. Black with rain. He said, run so that the rain will not hinder you. Praise the Lord. Amen. When there is no rain for a long time and the rain will come, it will come destructively. When a woman has waited for a long time without a child, when she gives birth, she will give birth to a king. Amen. That's how it used to be. There's no more in life. So what happened? The rain was coming. And they were, the thing is, from the mountain to the gate of Jezreel is seven miles. Seven miles is about nine kilometers. Nine to ten kilometers. If you calculate 1.3, then 1.3 or 1.6 times seven. That's about ten points. Huh? Ten points. Something. Okay, ten points. Something. Praise the Lord. Are you following me? So, the king had, if he was a, if he was a, a, a maybe. A warrant officer. Somebody open your eyes and look up here. If, if Ahab was a warrant officer, he would have one horse. You know, power is measured by horses. So we say, one horse power. A 504 is four horse power. Amen. Amen. Are you following me? Yes, sir. So, the speed of four horses is the same as a 504. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so, but Ahab was not a warrant officer. Ahab was not a captain. If he's a captain, he will have two horses on his chariot to move him. Ahab was not a captain. Ahab was not a general that could have like three. Ahab was the king. He had four and above. And the horses, they took off. They kept running high speed. They pulled the child on high speed. Elijah will not rush. Don't hurry your prayers because you want to see somebody. Rebraham say that's the reason God sent fire to kill those 50 and their captain because they destabilized fellowship between him and his servant. Somebody is knocking at the gate, let him wait. If you can't wait, let him come back another day. If he doesn't understand, let him faint. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So Elijah quietly finished with the Lord. And the Lord said to Elijah, I lay my hands on you. Rock. And Elijah had to, he could not run down the mountain. He had to come down from the mountain. Coming down, coming down, coming down. As he got to the ground, Elijah began to run. The Bible said he guided his lions, his waist. The man of over 70 years guided his waist. And Elijah Ahab has slept about 30 minutes ago. Are you following me? And he's going 10 kilometers. And he's halfway. And Elijah came on foot. I ran and passed the chariot and went to the gate and wait for him. Mm. Hallelujah. Now, I'll ask you a question. If you see such power, how would you respond to it? Oh, power. 
Amen. Just before we pray. Now, in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip, tetrarch of Ituria, and of the region of the Trachonites and Lysanias, and the, the tetrarch of Abilene. Annas and Caiaphas being high priests. The word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. We need to break it down, brother. Can you break it down for me? Just put the men and their and their and their where they were ruling. Their them and their kingdom. Who? Tiberius was Caesar in Rome. Amen. Amen. Are you following me? I just read the Bible. Tiberius was Caesar where? In Rome. Which means he was he was the Caesar. Amen. Caesar is a title. He was the Caesar. Okay. Amen. Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea. And that's where Elijah ran to. Remember? He ran to Judah. You follow me? Yeah. Bathsheba. Herod was that child of Galilee. His brother was that child of Ituria and of the region of Trachonitis and Lysanias, the patriarch of Abilene. Now watch something. Amen. Petrarch is four small kingdoms that are divided and given over to individuals. Herod was not an Israelite. Herod was from Edom, the descendant of Esau. So on this particular day, two troubles came to Israel. One, Israel had taken the blessing and the birthright of Esau. Is that correct? Yes. So, when Esau knelt before his father and was crying, Isaac said, don't worry. A day is coming that when you have borne the yoke of your brother, it will be hard on you, you will do what? You will break it off and you will rule over him. That day has come. Two troubles in a day. Another thing is that Eli Jezebel promised to cut off the head of Elijah. That day has also come. Praise the Lord. Amen. But before action could be taken, men have to take majority. Men have to take the best places. Satan came down and put Tiberius as Caesar in Rome. Pilate as governor. Herod, Petra, everything. And then Philip. Philip had a wife. Her name was Herodias. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, you know, when people have children, one of the sons can resemble half the mother, half the father. Another daughter will resemble half the father, half the mother. Then, you will now see one of the daughters. It looks as if the mother permitted her. Just the mother can one copy. That was what Herodias was to Jezebel. It was full-blown measure, 99.9%. Because she cannot get 100%. 99.99999 could be going to eternity. Just minus one. Praise the Lord. Amen. And you know what happened? When Herodias came, Satan is looking for, because no smoke can come up without fire. There was a party in the house of Philip. And Herod, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The brother of Philip attended the party. Herodias was dancing. Herodias, not the daughter. Herodias was dancing on that day, Philip's wife. And Herod was taunting her. 
Praise the Lord. And promised her beyond her imagination. After the party, Amen. She missed in the palace. She had looked. That is what? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every wife has come to their final gospel. Every wife of Jesus Christ, every wife in Jesus Christ, have they have reached their destiny. They only make their room larger. The Lord will place you on a large ground Amen. by the blessing and the peace that He's going to give to you. Amen. But you cannot desire another house. Amen. Amen. In fact, I hear that they say a husband drove the wife away. Not where I am. If you have such case, just don't tell me. Just come and pass. And just see if you're not talking. My mother wants to drive me. Just if my mother wants to. <laughs> just, just say it. Just if my mother wants to. Just so, so. <laughs> then I will carry my regalia and wear it. I have men of trouble here. I select them. We visit your house with a mighty visitation. It is the man that is to be driven. Because that house is the woman's house. If the thing is too small for you, increase it. Amen. Increase it. Make room. Get angry with God and he gets you the blessing. You increase the place. Drive with wife. Look at her bodily. When you went to marry her, is that how she was? Amen. Let's start from there. Invite everybody that was there when you wanted to marry her. Those that have died, pray for them to resurrect. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We start from there. Then you now use, I don't know how you are going to do it to make her come back like she's able. Then even me that I was there, even though it is, I don't have that change too much, but you changed me back. How I used to be that time. You know how I was before when I came there. All of us all have said to say, hey, as we're saying, we now say, as we're listening. Then he said, I know that tomorrow is the wedding, I don't marry again. Then before the marriage. Uh -huh. You're free. But if you cannot do it, but that's your package, carry it the way you have it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You know, God used women to bless men. Amen. So that, you see some men, when I'm in advice of these young men, they think that I'm throwing their life. They will see me to be dodgy. I laugh. Let's see this one. <laughs> Don't worry. Tomorrow, after you have forced yourself into that marriage, when I'm going to say, is everything? Mm. <laughs> everything okay? Mm. <laughs> You'll be humming. Like a vehicle. Like a bad vehicle. Hallelujah. Amen. You should know. If God wanted to send me to this world and there was no women around, I won't come home. You won't be eating the love beans. And into me. No. You don't know. Ask people who are not your man. I've done a favor. I've done a favor. Oh. Praise the Lord. All the people who are selling my mouth put around this area, they will look at me with bad eyes. Because they I want to stop some people from buying their mouth. Because I want to like so 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 person not to be going that side. <laughs> He's looking at me. Sit there on that side. <laughs> Come and marry.
Amen. 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 I don't say that you want to buy you. You want to pledge money. You buy me something. I give it. That's small thing. Praise the Lord. Now, these men, they took positions in the best places, most noble areas. But the word of the Lord did not come to the high priest. The word of the Lord found no place but the wilderness. Amen. And there was just one ignorant man, according to human standard, John. But he was where? In the wilderness. Amen. Not in the palace. But how does the man in the wilderness get information? Oh, brothers, that we might stay where there is dust said the Lord. According to scriptures. Right there in the wilderness. The Lord told himself, Herodias, the wife of Philip, is now married to Herod. Of Galilee. And John marched towards Galilee. There's the wilderness close, the wilderness boundary to Galilee. He stood there and he was shouting. Don't say the Lord. Repent. For the kingdom. No, my brother. Every time he echoed, he spoke, the word were echoed. Yes, yes. And whoever it concerned, they have sleeping on his bed for the kingdom of God. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? They said, Sir, there is nothing. He said, I had a bomb. Sir, are you okay? You are the one that is not okay. <laughs> now, can you ask me that expression as a king? Sir, but because all of us here, we have nothing. Then tell us what you have been hearing. And he said, the man is the voice is saying, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. They send men everywhere. What is the meaning of repent? It was not a message that had been preached before in Israel. Yes, but that was coming. They said, Ah, King, I wonder how you heard this. Where this thing is coming from, it is not possible for you to hear. There is a madman in the wilderness. Would that man be your pastor? You say, God forbid. But he was a man sent from God. Amen. Hey, hey, up. Just the man. I mean, who? Herod. Say, no, no, no. I need to see him. So they thought it was picnic. So he mounted in the chariot and sat down. And Herodias came. Nobody knew who Herodias was. Sat in the chariot. And as they were going, they went to the border of the wilderness. And John was there. Now you find another man without diplomacy. Yes, sir. Bring down the chariot, they just brought him down. Open the curtains, they open the arrow with his beard, with his staff. Hey, you man, are you okay? John ignored him. Amen. Amen. I say, you that woman, you that. <laughs> Oh, of a, of a woman. You are the wife of Philip. How come you are sitting with her up now? Tell her, Herod, are you not aware that it's not right for you to have her as a wife? Not going to ask her to take contract. Going to rich man's house to pray. And after prayer, they share with you. And someone says, a man of God. What are you talking about? What part of the ministry is that one? What part of the ministry is that one? Because when I come to your house to pray, prepare me to go. Amen! Yes, 
living in the household, and as she can preach, <laughs> uh, praise God. Immediately, the two of them met. Elijah and John knew that there was heaven, just in heaven. Amen. And John began to summarize his message. I was looking earnestly out, and it was not quite long. Jesus came and was baptized. And John, when he said that I may decrease for you to increase, he knew where he was going. They came one day. They did not drag him. They just said, John, the king wants to see you. They took him away. And that was the last. And then there was a birthday party. Birthday party. The dawning of a new day. The dawning of a new day. It has dawned. The dawning of a new day. Oh, the Savior has given me the dawning of a new day. It has dawned. The dawning of a new day. Oh, the dawning of a new day. The dawning of a new day. I say, it has dawned. The dawning of a new day. Going to close 
that don't count. Amen. Amen. The prophets, the law and the prophets must prophesy until John. So John was closing the Old Testament for a new dawn to take place. So if anyone would die in Jesus Christ, there was no space for him to die after John has died. Until the three and a half years will be expired. You get it? Let me help you. If he dies, where will he go? Take it. The son of the woman of Nain. If he died, if Jairus daughters died, if Lazarus died and went without resurrection, without coming back, where will he where will he be kept? For the law and the prophets, they are telling you closed up with John. That door, when John entered, it closed. When you call Abraham's bosom, the last man to enter was John. Amen. Where do you want to put it? So Jesus said, in John chapter 5, from verse 19, Going down, 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 down. Or John chapter 11. Where he said, He that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. That's what he was telling to Mary. Or to Martha, that thing. He that liveth. And believers in me shall never die. Though another way dead shall rise again. Praise the Lord. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believers doubt this. It was hard. It's plain today. But for that period, when John died, none could die to join them. They have to wait until Jesus died, then they could start dying. Did you get that? Okay. Praise the Lord. I hope you can get that. Yes. So, the word came to John in the wilderness away from the city. But the word from this wilderness disrupted the actions and the events of the city. Now listen. Caiaphas and Annas, high priest, high priest, if you were there in that day, would you be in their churches? In the church of Caiaphas and Annas? Would you be in John's church? God has never been with the majority, brothers. There's never a time with God where majority carried the fruits. The line of truth is so thin, thin. It is thin. That even you are trying to arrange yourself to put you in darkness. The road is straight and narrow. You manage to pass. Amen. There is no avenue for looking back. There is no chance to consider other people's mistake. You are just there to face your walk. W A L K with God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's not do things because people are doing it. Christians are not in vogue. But it's raining. Amen. Amen. What rains today will not rain tomorrow. 
Remember that. Praise the Lord. What is raining today cannot rain tomorrow. Those of us who are looking out for marriage, look beyond the nose. I just like her nose. And I see her nose, so it's her nose. Look beyond the nose, man. Praise the Lord. Are you following me? The word of the Lord came to John in the wilderness. Not in the city. Not in Rome. Not in Galilee. In the wilderness of Judea. And he cried from the wilderness. And the city were disrupted. It has not changed. Amen. Jesus Christ. The same yesterday, today and forevermore. It will not change. God will not change tomorrow, tomorrow and raise men to be in charge of his work. The Holy Spirit does the work of God Amen. himself. Amen. Look at Peter and John. Men and brethren, why do you look to us as if by our power we have made this plain man to walk? But today, how many of you receive tracts with testimonies at the back? <laughs> revival, revival, revival! They want to bring revival. They announce it, even on radio, like home video. Why is coming, bam? Two friends will be there. I will die will we line. Boom. In a revival. And brother, you go to such a place. You sit down and you are still the son of Jesus Christ. I doubt it. Amen. Amen. What are you looking for? In the days of John, men, few men, were heading towards the wilderness. Others were from the town heading, trying to, their aspiration was how to get to state house. Where do you want to go? Praise the Lord. Let me drop this thing for you now. Listen to this. Every one of us, as an individual, has got a direct link to Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are saved, stop depending on people. Amen. When we come out like this, when it's time for prayers, let us all pray. Amen. Oh, we are bigger. I think we have passed the stage of you waiting for a particular brother to come and pray for you. That is not ruling out that we cannot stand in prayers one for another. Hey, hey, hey. This brother I see come. Oh! The other one I see come. The one I used to sit in front of I see come. The other one I used to sit that I say, hey, Jesus. <laughs> and the pastor travel. Where he go to? Somalia. Oh! <laughs> the truck is not in that place. Brother, wake up from your sleep. Yeah. And in spiritual sleep. Who will speak back the mind of God in prayers? 
and he will answer. We don't know what to pray. We don't know what to pray, brothers and sisters. We don't know what to pray. There is no prayer specialist anywhere. Look. Amen. Okay. Usually I used to wake up in the night and walk around my environment. Maybe when I lose sleep and I just want to walk around. The minister's room's door is not always closed, just open, but the curtain is there. Most probably it is that. But when I pass with the curtain open, I see one person who is on his knees with his hands up, but I don't hear any sound. Amen. Amen. So when I went to be that person, I said, I desire that I can learn this from you. Because, ah. Amen. Amen. Spending hours upon hours. I remember one night I passed by around one. I knew it didn't start that time. I stepped off, woke up to four. It was still there. Ah, how can I sit down here that kind of a thing? I run away. That's what you'll be thinking. Spiritual work is deeper than you think. John was in the wilderness. How can he get my phone in the wilderness? When we live at that territory in the wilderness, for God was there with him. God is looking for one man that he will anoint, that will run faster than the king. One man whose hand of the Lord will be upon him, and he will run faster than the situation, the economy of the nation. Wake up, my people. Wake up. Why do you think that your blessing is in one person's hand? And tell God, God wants to bless you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, my uncle in the village, he promised me, let me God wait first. God wait. Many people are praying like that. Don't say, hey, many people are praying like that. Yes. Right. Their mind is like that. <laughs> they don't say anything good about themselves. I wonder why you walk and you don't learn. What are you looking at? I challenge you. What are you looking at? Amen. Amen. God has never been with the majority. A gift is like a precious stone in the eyes of him that had it. Whithersoever it turneth, it prospereth. God is looking for one soul, one person to, to pay. That will say, Lord, I will not be a betrayer. I will not service Jezebel with information. I will wait upon the Lord. I will run faster than the chariot. And I'm sure we have that one soul here. Amen, amen and amen. Let's bow our hands. said to the Hebrews looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith I want you to talk to God talk to the Lord where have you missed it there are many 
very heavy things that I've heard myself today. I didn't write them anywhere. Say of him, maybe there's a sister here, or there are sisters here, or there's a woman somewhere. You need to tell them. Unless they begin to see their husband as that great, powerful gift of God. Then you will not be able to take possession of that which belongs to you. Talk to the Lord. Are you running when God is not running? Are you walking? Are you talking when God is not talking? Young man, are you watching the direction that God is not watching for you? Young lady, when the PTA yesterday and the woman who stood up to speak about how people think, said if this woman will be saying this, then what will be church hearing? There's no time for boyfriending and girlfriending. Your life does not allow that. Do tell you. Thank you today. Let's sing that song to pray. Ancient word, ever true, changing me and changing you. We have called, we know now, oh let the ancient world in power, ancient world ever true, changing me. Thank you. 
shame of us. Lord, we pray. Have mercy, Lord. The words we speak that give discouragement to others, Lord, have mercy, Lord. The way we look at people against the will of God, oh, Father, have mercy upon us. The way we treat those around us, family members, is it wife, is it children, is it husband, is it Relatives, sisters, and brothers, the way we treat ourselves and not allow faith to be built, Lord, have mercy upon us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We repent, Lord. Come and help us. Send help from the sanctuary into our lives, even the altar of our soul. Grant us grace. I pray, let there be a revival within us to bring the word of God and life in us. Give us a swiftness that was upon Elijah. We will run, one with God. We will run and not faint. Like the eagle, we will mount up wings. Hallelujah! We will mount up wings, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I prophesy to your life today. And as you believe this word, let the anointing of the word of God break the yoke in your life. The things that have come to discourage you, let such things be swallowed by the power of the word. You that failure is standing before you, may you miss failure. In the name of Jesus Christ, you that success is running away from you, may you overtake him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Lord, bless us this week. Lead us, feed us, keep us. Take away Satan very far from your people. Encourage those that are discouraged. Give victory to those in battles. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May your name be glorified. I pray for those that are here for the first time and those who are visiting us, Lord. May your blessing be upon them. Strengthen them all. Lord, may they not stop their journey of faith halfway. Lord, at last, may we rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We pray for all the churches. May your name, O oh Lord, where this truth is preached, may your name be glorified. Amen. Take away, Lord, internal problems. Give them wisdom. Bless their pastors. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
Glory be to your name forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Let's sing that song. Ancient world. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. 